welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to the East Coast Road Trip and welcome to part four. This part we are traveling to Bar Harbor and Portland, Maine. So we're gonna see two places in the state of Maine and I'm very excited to head this part of America because I've never been before and it's gonna be a very lovely time with some very exciting things that we're getting up to. So our first part of the trip was to go to Portland and we had to come and see the famous lighthouse on our way to Portland. It's tucked away in this national park and you come, it's free entry, free to see. The museum and the gift shop is all there as well to have a wander around but there are many parts of the area that you can sit and have a good photograph, have a little photo shoot but just sit and enjoy the view, enjoy the sea and check in the lighthouse. And then we headed into the main town of Portland. We were staying here. The hotel I would not recommend totally, but it did the job. It was a cheap stay outside of the main city. And then we headed into the town of Portland, which is very, very cute. A lot of red brick houses, a lot of red brick buildings. I headed into Sherman's Main Coast Bookshop. So little fact, Stephen King is from Maine, or either he lived in Maine while he wrote all of his thriller novels, like It and The Shining, etc. And every bookshop seemed to have a little section dedicated to Stephen King, which is quite fun, quite cool, and a lot of recommendations, staff picks, but yeah, Stephen King was everywhere. But a lot of really gorgeous buildings around the coast of Portland, a lot of lobster shacks, so we headed to get a lobster roll, but first, we spotted the Berlin Wall, like a part of the Berlin Wall is in Portland, Maine, which quite random, but quite cool to see that they have this. We headed to Luke's Lobster Shack, so you come and sit outside at the back, so you're on the water, you're kind of bobbing along while you're sitting having your lobster roll, but we had some cocktails first, I think, off the trip, probably, because we were staying the night and we weren't driving anymore, but really gorgeous location to come to, to get some fresh fish some lobster rolls and yeah this one was so good we just had one to share because we had other places to check out around Portland but a really fun place to come little Instagram shot there with all the little boys hanging around and of course we found an Irish bar didn't go in but next door to it was duck fat which was highly recommended their poutine is probably the best seller and what they're really well known for but this is a really cozy location and they had a lot of merchandise we had the cheese curds on the sides. I am not a biggest fan of cheese, but really, really tasty. Really cool just to sit at the bar as well. And then we went to the High Roller. So this was known for their oysters. So we had to come here and have another little snack before we headed back to the hotel. And of course ordered a dozen oysters. And this is the book that I picked up. So next morning we were heading off to Bar Harbor. So we stopped in Holy Donut, which is a very famous location in Portland to get some donuts on our way. And then there was a lot of moose signs everywhere along the roads, but we never unfortunately seen a moose. I was gutted. I really wanted to see one, but we just never did. Even after on our way to Vermont, didn't see a moose. We stopped here at 1A Relic, so there's a lot of antique shops along the highways of America, well definitely in New England that we were seeing, and this one was highly recommended as a very weird and wonderful place. So we stopped off here, stretched the legs, and just had a walk around, but they had the most random things in the store, like the most random things you'll ever see. And it was just a kind of cool walk around, killed a few minutes, half an hour or so, and yeah we didn't buy anything but if you're ever in the mood for an antique shop and you want a traffic light per se or anything that your heart desires you'll probably find it in this store weird and wonderful wacky but that's why you love traveling in america because you'll always find things like this so cool Then before we got into Bar Harbor, we stopped at a lobster shack along the highway. There are a lot of these lobster shacks just kind of dotted around, but this one was quite highly recommended. Came here and I got some clam chowder and 
you know if you've watched my boston vlog i love clam chowder and i've ate so much on this trip but this was so good especially the weather wasn't playing ball on this side of the trip this is the first rain that we had seen our whole east coast road trip but we didn't mind because it was kind of giving to the vibe it was quite nice this is our little bread and breakfast cottage that we stayed at so it was the canterbury cottage they had two dogs in the living room as well which is quite nice and my first time ever staying in a bread and breakfast and i really really enjoyed it it was very cozy very homely and yeah it's a really really nice experience Then we headed out to just wander around the area of Bar Harbour and yes it was lashing rain but we still wanted to see as much of it as we could because we weren't going to be here for a very long time. So we got out, there was another Sherman's bookstore so I had to go back and visit that and see if there's any more books that I could pick up but as well as sheltering from the torrential rain that was happening too. So the Bar Harbour waterfront, a lot of boats hanging around, just kind of bobbing along the water, people fishing, really nice location, but obviously very grey skies. The rain did stop for a little while, which is quite nice, and we were able to walk around some more. Maine is very well known for its blueberries, so if you're ever in Maine, you have to get something blueberry themed. And we did have some blueberry pie, blueberry muffins, but we just wandered around the area some more before getting back to the bread and breakfast, pick up the car and head to Arcadia National Park because the rain was relentless and it was, yeah, time for a drive. So we headed to Arcadia National Park, got the weekend pass, I believe, and just drove around, took in the sights, got out of the car when it wasn't raining. You are meant to be able to see Nova Scotia from here whenever it is a clear day, obviously not today, but it was really nice to see this national park, really cool. And then this area, when the when the tide is at the right level, you'll get loads of splash here. There was a kid on that rock who was obviously, I was very frightful for, but his mum didn't really seem to care. And yeah, it was really a nice little wander around the national park. And it was giving a lot of more twilight. It was very, very twilight. I felt like I was in forks. And I was Bella Swan just driving around. Like, look at those trees. It is very, very twilight, which is quite cool. Very, very cool to see. Then we find another bookshop. This one was more about nature and wildlife, which was quite nice because obviously the area is so heavily focused on like national parks and wildlife and different things you can see so it was a really interactive bookstore and quite nice on our way back and then we headed outside of Bar Harbour to come to this lobster shack another one yes we've had so much lobster on this trip already but when in Maine you have to you have to have the seafood it's just you have to and I had some more clam chowder because the weather it definitely needed it and I Love my clam chowder if you haven't realized already. And then himself ordered the lobster. And it was good. I ordered the lobster roll because I am not about digging for my food and not really into that, but himself did have a go. And yeah, this is just why I don't, I don't like doing this. Obviously not very successful. Then we headed to this Irish bar in Bar Harbour on the square, which is actually the closest Irish pub to Ireland, which is the actually the really crazy stat and fact, and I loved it because I felt so close to home. 
but this little area was giving stars hollow if you've watched Gilmore Girls and it stopped raining in the evening so it was quite nice to see the sunset on Bar Harbour Pier as well which was lovely. The next morning we were up bright and early at 5.30am to go whale watching and it was a gorgeous day, the weather was beautiful but the whale watching was cancelled. The waves were too high, it was foggy conditions, even though it looked so peaceful and calm but they said the further out is actually really really bad and the seasickness level was insane so I was quite glad but obviously I really really wanted to go whale watching so we'll have to come back another time. So then instead we headed to Jordan's which is like a famous breakfast place, loads of blueberries, I had some blueberries and fruit and I had a blueberry muffin and then it was time for us to head on. We went back through Arcadia National Park and the difference that the weather makes to this is insane but it was actually really cool to be able to see both it in rain and fog and then to see it beautiful and gorgeous weather and have a little glimpse of Nova Scotia. So yeah, it kind of made up for it and we were able to do this then on our way to the next point of our trip and we had the pass for the full weekend so we were able to come back in for free which is quite nice and utilise that but yeah, if you can see the difference in this, is it, it's insane. And then this is Otters Point, didn't see any otters but it was just a gorgeous piece of lake and of the sea and just a really nice way to end our time in Bar Harbour and say goodbye because we were on to Vermont and we had a very, very long drive a whole seven hours of driving ahead of us so maybe it was a good thing we didn't go whale watching who knows but yeah thank you so much for watching and stick around for vermont and connecticut still to come mm -hmm.